good morning youtubers okay we're going to program a active cross safety module on this bmw x1 all right and here's the old one over there we're going to program our active cross safety module this one probably either be water damaged or screwed up so this is the one that is um taken out you can see that water ingress you can see that you see that you see the, the, the corrosion that is water ingress corrosion all right so this is the acsm we're gonna program a new one all right so so what bag where our equipment is at our laptop to go right here And then we took out, took out our charger, and we took out our multimeter. And we took out the cable for the icon, and we took out the icon itself. Alrighty then, so we take out this extension cord. Need that. And I need an Enet cable if I want it. It's right here. If I don't need it, I'm gonna use the ICOM to program a car. I'm gonna pause the video for now and set up this connection and get everything ready. Turn on our MSI laptop here. Alright, so we um, turn on terminal. Let me see now. Plug in this. I don't know if this strategy works, but. I'll follow the sequence of plugging the icon and then turn on terminal 15. Okay. We we'll need a minute for the icon to boot up. I'm gonna make sure we turn off the firewall. Alright, it's still um, doing certain things. We turn off the firewall. Remember, remember to turn, remember to turn on the firewall. Here goes the icon three, genuine BMW icon. Okay, we're going to run Easter D now. Read out vehicle. Okay, we are now reading out the car. This is what we're going to program here, this one. Active crash safety module. This is the uh, the used one that came out of I mean, the, the original one that came out of it. So what we do now, we... Um, this is again, see, it's water damage. They hold it to the light, here's it. It's water damage, you see those corrosion? Water damage active cross safety model the airbag model so we're gonna program a new one today this is where i'm at in doral and um, this is three point paint and body also so we're gonna program that bmw x1 there we're gonna program this Okay, are we are reading out the vehicle details. As you can see, these BMWs nowadays, they have few control units on it. Okay, so we wait until the vehicle context has been finished read out. Okay, finished read out the vehicle. What we're gonna do now, we're going to um, click on the gray area. All right, and then we look at vehicle details. We're gonna save the vehicle details. This eye level right here, we're gonna save it because we're gonna need it. We're gonna use e and flash the active crash safety module, okay? So, 
what we do here we click print we click print that okay and I'm gonna click new folder and I'm gonna pause the video for now and that's it we name it we give it a folder we call we name the folder that way and then we're gonna save the vehicle details in it Vehicle details, the eye level. As you can see here, let us look at the active cross safety module. As you can see, there's no coding file in it. All right, and um, we can also go here. We click on display file code memory. Okay, as you can see, the fall code list there. Uh, we're gonna look and see if we find the. Um, we're gonna look and see if we find the uh, active cross safety module here somewhere down the line. It's 114 codes. Here's it right here. Active cross the module, no current coding data stored, okay? Alright, so we're going to write the coding file to it using these. Okay, so we're going to pause the video for now. We, we right now, I, I'm calculating a measure plan right now. Alright, and then when it's finished, we will um, see if we can execute measure plan and go forward, okay? The vehicle is going to be updated to this current level right here. 2019 of November software version 534. This is will be the latest target eye level of the PSDZ data that's gonna be into the car. And this one right now is the actual eye level on the car right now. Okay, I'm going to execute the measure plan. I'm gonna try to use this study to program it, no big deal. We can use this to do that um, some other time, okay? No big deal. We're gonna use um, study to do it, right? We just click execute measure plan. It's just an update. So in the process of time, here's the active cross safety module to encode this one and so on, all right? So we pause the video for now and we wait. All right, here's a note of caution. Read that carefully. We have to remove all data. We have to move any media from the drive. All data carries DVDs. We must be monitored to remove, okay? We're gonna do that now and check in the vehicle for that. All right, we're gonna make sure there's nothing is in it. We're gonna make sure, click the eject button right here. Check if no DVDs here. Oh, here's one. See, safety, caution, there it goes. We open up the glove box, and we look if there's no USB media here. What, there's media here, here's that? Uh, where is it? There's none here, here's one right here. There's none, so we take that out. All right, now we go forward. We go forward with this, there's no, we just take with a CD, press continue, and we pause the video now and we wait. Alright, we just read this in a brief and then that's it. This says preparation for vehicle programming, okay? Cool, so we can just click continue and go forward. Alright, so we can click on basically service plan and watch it go, watch it. Click on programming plan and watch it's gonna write logistics for it. So we pause the video for now, okay? As you can see, the program is writing to the central gateway module. It appears to be doing that first. So we pause and we wait. Okay, it saved the body domain controller data right here. So that's a part of this. 